Good morning. This is Linda K. And it is um, Wednesday, April, I mean, May the 18th, 2022. And it is 10.51 a.m. And the weather outside is very rainy and chilly out. And it is only, doesn't say what the temperature is. Um, so, it, it was chilly this morning, so, um, but my house gets ungodly hot, and so I had to have the air on this morning. Oh, it's not coming in. Okay. Okay. This is black tube number 37. And as you can see, my cat is video bombing my video. Uh, as I was saying, this is black tube number uh, 37. And I decided to use my uh, webcam this time on my, I mean, my computer camera this time because. I want to have this as one whole video instead of putting it up in two. <coughs> so I'm using my computer class camera to record this so I can make it into one video. And it won't stop in the middle of it. And as you can tell, this is the cat room because there's like dust everywhere and and I can clean it up like now and by tomorrow I'll be the same way so excuse the way it looked but if you have a cat you know what I'm talking about um I have two whips that I have been working on well actually three three whips that I have been working on. So my focus piece is QS Library Berry by Heaven and Earth Designs. The artist is Randall Spangler and it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and here's what it's going to look like when I get it done. Whoops. Sorry for the glare. But that's what it's going to look like. And I am almost done with this. Getting close, but not as like you're getting close, but yet so far. And I got something in my eye. And I'm not going to take it out of the tree snap. If you hear dinging noise, it's because I'm getting notifications on my computer and I'm trying to get rid of them. Okay. Um, okay, I'm on page 8 and there are 9 pages to this. So I'm on page 8, and they're parcel pages, and here's what I got done on it so far. So, uh, if you can't tell, this dark green right here, that is, that is the edge of the book, down at the bottom, at the bottom edge of the book and so the book is gonna go up this way whoops hang on a minute the book is gonna go up this way and so I'm doing the other half so this little dark green right here that's the other edge of the book 
And, you know, and of course they're going to go this way. And then the orange that you see up here, that is part of her legs and they'll come down like here. And then you can see the top of the castle. So the book going over this way is gonna be it's gonna be lots of greens and blues and yellows. So I'm still in the first column of page eight. And I'm doing this on 28 count, white joven, one over one, full cross. I do all, all my hades full cross, one over one. I'm hoping to get this done this year because I would really love to have it done this year. So I can get a frame and give it to my local library because that's who I'm making it. And here's the top of it. And I'm doing this with tons and tons of confetti. And on page eight. So I'm doing like maybe about five or six dishes per day on it. That's how I do my confetti. I don't do it all at once. I do a little bit each day until I actually get the block done and I and I uh work one block from start to finish. So it's a ten by ten block and I work it from start to finish before I go to the next block. That's the only way I do it. So that, this is QS Library Fairy 5, the artist of Randall Spangler, and a charted by Heaven and Earth Design, Michelle Shay Yady. And, and I keep my edges. I don't do any sewing on the edges. And here is all the colors for Cubist Library Fairy. And this is how I keep my floss for all of my projects. And I got the main set, and right now I got nine boxes just like this of the main set of DMC threads. So this is my focus piece. Work on it some every day. And then the next one that I've been working on is Blackbird Designs Away We Rise. So that's what it's going to look like when I get it done. And I'm doing this on 14 count white eight up, two over one, four across. And here's what I got done on it. I'm finishing up the uh, crab apple tree. And then when I get the crab apple tree done, then I will go over and finish the house. And I love my Ada. Because it's so much simpler to work on. Easy to see. And I I can't remember when I got the uh, the 
the Q-Snap uh, cover for it. But I love it. It's a uh, paws, you know, like from a cat. And I love it. So that's my other whip. And that's the only tea that I'm working on right now. I would like to get one small finish. One, yeah, one small fin finish up. And one big one finish up this year. So that's my goal. And then my other one that I'm working on is... Uh, Mirabilia, and it's Silver Moon Tea, and the only thing I'm doing on it is the uh, be is the beating. So that's what I'm working on. That's the last thing I have to do on it, and. I'm doing this as a, uh, hang on a minute, I forgot the name of the fabric. What's wrong here? It's a 28 count Lugana and the color is ISOLD, I-S-O-L-D-E. And I got from uh, Hand Dye Fabric by Stephanie. So that's where I got the fabric from. So here is my progress. So I, I, I'm kind of like going in different areas in this. So not so, you know get tiring so quick with the beating but there are tons of beating around the moon so I started on the side here right there and then I decided and I went through the darker area and got the beating done there I think no I didn't so I stopped like right here so then I decided to, who did that? To go down at the bottom. Yeah. Go down at the bottom of her. And right there. Wait a minute here. Okay. Right here is the beading. You can't hardly really see it, but there's lots of bead right there. So I just have this section to finish up right here with the beading, and then that section will be done. And then, I don't know, there's, I think there's beading right here, that little white area. And then, I will go on this side of the moon, over by the orange. I fly through here and I will do some beating there. So I figure if I move around and not keep just in the same area all the time, I'll go much quicker that way. And it's more enjoyable that way too. So that's where I'm at on my mirror bear. And I am not going to start another one until this is completely finished. I only do one more video at a time.
So my next bird is going to be the Raven Queen. Oh, I love that one. Oh, I cannot wait to get started on it. So as soon as I get this done, then I will start, then I'm going to start uh, Raven Queen by Mirabilia. So, um, so those are my three whips. Now, I have started to collect class five. It's called Gritty Kitty Monthly Series by Britta Cup Designs. So, I have January and February. Aren't they cute? And then I have March and April charts. So the next month I will get um May and June. I'm buying these a little bit at a time. And I'm getting them from one, two, three stitch. Cause they have them. So I started by I, I'm starting to get all of the ones in this in this monthly series. So far I got two of them. And to keep them as one set, I keep them in this because it's real cheap and get them from Amazon. And then I started to buy. A Year in the Woods series by Kitty Garden Samplings. And so far, I got four of them. So, here is number one the fox. Here is number two. The swans. Number three, the jackrabbit. And number four, the raccoon. So, so far I got four, and I think there's nine in the series. So next month I will get uh, a year in the world number five. And I'm going to do these on separate pieces of fabric. I'm not going to do them all in one because it makes it too big. So. So those are the. And I also keep it all in one bag like this so I can keep them all together and then another one I think well maybe yeah another one that I'm uh, collecting is and I'm keeping them in a ziplock bag. As a uh, a year of animal fun and frolics 
and I buy tiny mono nest and I and I get them from one two three discs. So here is January's. Here is February's. Here is March. Here is April. I love, April is so pretty. I it, I get to this Easter, and then here is May. Honey bear. So cute. I love it. Mr. Honey Bear and his honey. So I got um June through December to buy ya. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do all of them I think on a fourteen count white Ada. So, <clears throat> so those are every <coughs> so I am collecting three of them three different series and I bring them like one per month until I get all of them and so and once I get all of them then I will start uh stitching them so that is everything that I have and I want to thank all my new subscribers for subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click on the little bell. And it will get new notifications when I upload a new video. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, weekend. And so far, I've been... Uh, making my videos once a month so I think I'm still gonna stay with that and just make it once a month and then that way I have you know some things to show you and uh, I thought my cat was behind me so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking time out to watch my video for subscribing for commenting and for all my returning viewers, thank you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.